this lecture i'm going to explain to you what an asset is now you've been very familiar with the term assets uh, it's a, it's a very important concept in chemistry so that so it has multiple definitions and they all are pretty much uh, the same so i'm going to start off with the first definition which is uh, the brosted lowry definition of what an asset is so acids are molecules so they're molecules or compounds or they could also be ions uh, that can donate a proton. Remember, a proton is simply an H plus one ion. So any molecule that is capable of producing an H plus one ion, that would be called an acid. So for example, uh, I have uh, HCl. So I have an HCl molecule, and HCl is hydrochloric acid. And if you react it with water, what happens is that HCl loses, it, it loses its H plus one, so only Cl minus one ion is left and H3O plus is formed. So if you look at this equation, you would see that this HCl molecule ends up losing its H plus one ion. So, so in this particular case, uh, this HCl mo molecule, it's losing or it's uh, donating its H plus one ion which is then accepted by this water molecule over here. So HCl is your brosted lowry acid. Uh, we, can, we can come up with another equation. Let's say I have H2SO4, which is your sulfuric acid. If you react it with nitric acid, that's also, remember, that's also an acid, and this might confuse you, but remember what an acid is. So if, if the two uh, molecules react, in this manner, it produces HSO4 minus ion and uh, HNO3 ends up gaining an H plus one and it becomes H2NO3 plus ion. Now, if you look at this uh, equation carefully, and if, if you look at H2SO4, it's the H2SO4 molecule in this reaction that is losing its H plus one ion because there's one H plus one missing in this molecule now. So if you look at this reaction, you would notice that uh, that it's H2SO4 that loses the H plus one ion. So in this, it's losing H plus one. So in this particular reaction, it's sulfuric acid that's acting as an acid. So brosted lowry definition, it's a, it's a much wider definition and it depends on uh, from reaction to reaction. Uh, if any molecule in a reaction is losing H plus one ion, then that molecule is acting as an acid and it's not restricted uh, to uh, molecules it could be ions as well so we can uh, think of an ion for example i can think of uh, h2po4 minus ion uh, this could also act as an acid so if it's reacting with water it might end up losing an h plus one and you would get this particular ion if it loses H plus one and H2O would be the one that would be gaining H plus one in this case. So I've written down an equation and if you look at this equation carefully and if you look at all the molecules, your reactants and your products in this equation, uh, forget where the equation is coming from. If you just look at the equation and you need to figure out which one is an acid or acting as an acid according to brosted lowry definition, you would look at H2PO4. This is the molecule that's losing its H plus one. So there's an H plus one missing over here. So this molecule over here is the one that is losing H plus one. So this is your acid. So to sum it up, brosted lowry definition for an acid is a very broad definition. It could encompass a lot of molecules. So any molecule in any reaction, if it loses an H plus one ion, remember it's only going to be an H plus one ion. So if it loses an H plus one ion, then that molecule is acting as an acid. In this lecture, we're now going to discuss uh, the definition of a base and specifically we're going to talk about the Brost and Lowry definition. So it's co going to be completely, completely the opposite of what a Brost and Lowry acid is. So the molecules or ions that can accept a proton or H plus one ion. So so an acid was, uh, a brosted lowry acid was something that donates a proton or H plus one ion. A base on the other hand is something that is going to 
except a proton or H plus one ion. So we're going to look at the reactions that we discussed uh, previously. So here's a, here's your reaction where HCl is reacting with H2O and it's producing Cl minus one and H3O plus one. When previously we were discussing this reaction, we said that HCl, because it's losing its H plus one ion, so Cl minus one is left behind and it lost its H plus one. So HCl lost an H plus one. So this over here was your, uh, it was your bronson lowry acid. But now we're going to look at the equation again and now we're going to see uh, which substance in this reaction is the one that's accepting H plus one. So that's water in this case. If you look at H2O, H2O gains an H plus one ion and it ends up forming H3O plus. So this is uh, your substance that is uh, gaining or accepting H plus. So this over here is your Broston Lowry base. Let's move to the next reaction. If you look at the next reaction, uh, the next reaction you would again see that H2SO4 is the one that's losing H plus 1 and it's forming HSO4 minus 1. So it lost an H plus 1 ion. So this over here is your is your acid. But your base in this reaction is going to be uh, HNO3 because it is accepting H plus ions and you can see that there's HNO3 over here and on the other side in your product side it's H2NO3 plus so it ended up accepting an H plus one ion so this HNO3 is your is your base let's move to the third reaction again you have H2O, H2PO4 minus one if you look at this reaction it lost an H plus one ion so this here is your acid so this is your acid, this is your Broston Lowry acid. And this H2O molecule was your base because it was accepting H plus ions. So you had H2O and on the other side in the product side it was H3O plus. So that meant that H2O ended up gaining an H plus one ion. So this H2O over here is your Broston Lowry base so molecular ions that can accept a proton they are your bronson lowry bases